Fremont, California, um, and we have another fruiting cactus. This is Apuntia ficus indica. This is the cactus that we get our nopales from, the nopalitos. Uh, it's also where we get the tunas. And so we got these nice fruit over here, red and yellow fruits. They're shaped kind of like tuna fishes. I imagine that's why they call them a tuna. Um, and they're just about getting ripe. We got a little bit of a green blush on one end, but I'd say those are about ready to eat. Um, now this one is a lot easier to raise if you're looking for cactus fruit than the dragon fruit that everybody's excited about. A much wider area of the country will support the Puntia ficus indica. It's not particularly temperamental. The plant probably take 20 degrees uh, for short periods of time. It's very reliable to fruit. Um, Unfortunately, the downside of the Apuntia is there are spines on the fruit, and so we have to deal with them either by scrubbing them off, paring them off, or the traditional means was also burning them off over a fire, which is uh, uh, using a gas stove and a pair of tongs. It's actually an easy way to get rid of these spines. Uh, here we have a fruit, and we're going to demonstrate. Tracy's going to go ahead and cut that fruit off for us. Uh, you just go ahead and hold it with, the, with a glove because there are spines, and then take the shear and cut right behind the fruit. There we go, just like that. Beautiful, look at that tuna. All right, now we're going to have to take it inside, cut it up, and see how delicious so cool it is. cool and totally gnarly growing through the chain link fence. That was point. Yeah, I mean, wow, what a contortion. Yeah. Yeah, this is quite a fruiting you have out here of... Uh, of a puntia. There's still a few left on here. The neighbors and the and the squirrels haven't stolen, huh? Yeah. A few dropped off on the ground over here. There's still a few left inside the cactus. That looks pretty good to eat. Mm, there's another one right there. It doesn't look too bad. Great plant. No water, no maintenance, no insects. Produces both Excellent vegetables. This right here, the baby paddles, are uh, what we use for the nopalitos, for the little nopales. Uh, delicious in burritos and with scrambled eggs. Mm -mm. And then we have the tunas right there, which are an excellent fruit of the desert. There's a great perennial vegetable and fruit plant for your yard. So right here, we've got a chunk of paddle that was cut to the ground. Uh, it sent out a big old root, and it made a paddle. And so we got a brand new Nepalese plant. This is a very, very easy plant to grow from cuttings. You look down here underneath on the ground, and you see we got all kinds of pieces laying down here. Every bit of it roots. These things turn into a real jungle of thorns if you're not careful. So you be careful with any piece that gets laid on the ground, because it becomes a new cactus. So here we are back home in my kitchen. Uh, I have brought home my cactus fruit. You have it right here. You'll notice I am using a pair of kitchen tongs to hold it because there are little spots on the outside of the fruit here. They're called uh, aerials. In the aerials we have glaucids. And glaucids are just plain nasty if you get them in your skin. Right there is a little spot. It's a fixture. All cactus have these. They're kind of little indentations in the flesh, whether it's on the paddles or whether it's on the fruit. And they're called aerials. Those, that's how you tell it's a cactus, because it's got an aerial, this little fixture with a thorn. In there we have a bunch of really, really, really tiny, tiny spines called glaucids. Glaucids are about as nasty as it gets on a cactus. Um, the regular larger spines that come out of the aerials are usually much easier to deal with if you get them in your skin. These are like dust. They're sharp as needles, but they're like micro needles, and you get them in and they stay there until the body dissolves them. So you want to be careful with those. Now, when you're processing a, a, uh, a pear fruit like this one, okay, these fruit have an awful lot of different names. People call them all sorts of things. Um, Cactus pears, it's a good name. Comes from a prickly pear cactus. That's, I guess, why they call it a prickly pear. Um, they're called Pethaea, uh, which is kind of a generic term for most uh, cactus fruit in Latin America. Um, they're also referred to as tunas, and I like the name tuna. 
I think these these look like uh, like little tunas. They're shaped like tunas, you know. So I think that's pretty cool. Anyway, there's all sorts of different ways that you can deal with the problem of the of the glaucids. A person can take a knife like so, and you can go in here and you can start to skin this cactus like that. You see, and we can remove the glaucids. Um, that's a lot of work, as far as I'm concerned. Too much for me. Uh, so what I would rather do with this pair, personally, is I'm going to take the glaucids off by using the gas stove. Um, Native Americans would do fire removal. Uh, they also used to use uh, mesh bags, bags made out of plant fiber. They'd throw the, the uh, pair in the bag and they'd shake the bag up and down until it knocked all the glaucids off. That seems fairly reasonable too. But I'm going to use the gas stove. Okay. Now, as you can see here, I've uh, I've washed my stove off just for the occasion. Ha 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 ha. Uh, and so I'm just going to take a high flame here, and I'm passing this tuna over the top of the flame, trying to uh, see if I can get a little smoke to come off the aerials without cooking the fruit. And yeah, that's happening. We're getting them here, and they're burning back. Yep. There we go. See. Nice and toasty, all their little points are gone. I'd still be a little wary of them, but uh, that does a pretty good job on them by burning them off. And I'm going to test these, and uh, we'll see. Yep, they're blunt. Nothing stuck in my finger. Good work. So then the next thing we can do, since we got the glaucids prepared, is we can go in and we can actually skin this fruit. And that's not unusual that you will see them, especially in Mexico, skinned and then served. And so you can do it just like that. Okay. But I'm a lazy guy and I don't like to work that hard. And so me, what I would prefer to do with a fruit like this is cut it in two like that, open the fruit up. Go get myself a spoon and then just scoop into the inside. Mmm. That's good too. Tastes just like pear. Mmm. Not bad at all. And I've got a bunch of hard seeds in it like a watermelon. And so you end up doing quite a bit of spitting with these. But these really are tasty. I wouldn't rate them quite as good as dragon fruit. And this is a real good fruit. And they come in a wide variety. Today I have one of the green forms here, but these are also available with a uh, uh, sort of a Bing Cherry Purple Flesh. Um, I've seen a few varieties around here that actually have a swirled pink, orange, and yellow flesh. Those are really cool looking, and actually they're quite good to eat too. But um, the green ones, also real good. This is nice and sweet, and it does have a very, very pear-like flavor. Ordinarily, when I do this sort of thing, um, I will go ahead and give an image of myself over here stuffing my face, going, mmm, man, is that good. And it is, too. This is really delicious. Um, wish you could join me. And this plant is not only a fruit, but it also doubles as a vegetable because the immature paddles, the napolitos, are uh, also excellent food. You know, kind of like maybe green bean or summer squash or something. Uh, it's not too strange, not too demanding. Uh, make great burritos, love them mixed with eggs. And uh, this is one more of the cactus fruit that will grow over a larger region of the world than the uh, famous dragon fruit. This is an easier plant. And dragon fruit doesn't make napolitos, and so I highly recommend this one. So if you're looking for an interesting cactus fruit in your garden, you'll want to try Opuntia ficus indica, the cactus pear. Happy gardening. <laughs>